example C, sine of 254 degrees. So this had been one question you would have asked before, except maybe not determining where this is. You can tell that this is between 180 and 270, so that would be quadrant three. Sine in quadrant three is negative, so where it's a little easier with degrees maybe to determine where that is. So we're just gonna put this into our calculator. Now it's important, and I wanna write this down for us, that you're back in degree mode. So on again, everyone's calculator might be different. You've had to learn how to convert your modes now. For mine, I have to hit mode and I have to hit it twice. And then I see degree, so that's option one. And I notice the little D here. So then I just type in sine 254 and I've got my negative answer. We knew it was gonna be negative and negative 0 0.9613 when you round that. And there you have your answer. Let's take a look at example D here. So determining which quadrant this is in, negative 70 isn't all the way to 90, so this is quadrant four. In quadrant four, the reciprocal of cosecant is sine, so in quadrant four, sine is negative. So we know that this will give us a negative answer in our calculator. So we, when we're putting this in the calculator, it's one over sine, and you put the negative sign in there still. So we gotta put that in brackets and you make sure that degree symbol's in your work. So we would put this into our calculator and we would say, and make sure again, it's in degree mode, mine's still in degree mode. One divided by sine negative 70. So make sure you use the negative button and not the minus button. So negative 70. So I got negative 1.064177. So to four decimal places, negative 1.0642.